Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sport, and in the last Community A4 Skyhawk tutorial, we discussed how to execute a proper pop-up attack on a heavily defended target. One of the systems I used to carry out that attack was the CP741 Slant A weapon release computer to ensure an accurate delivery on target. This ingenious system uses the onboard radar to lock a point on the ground and calculate the perfect release point for low drag bombs. So today, I'm going to take a more in-depth look at how to properly use this system to get warheads on foreheads. Traditional bombing up until the 1960s had largely been accomplished with manual aiming and bombing tables, which required the pilot to fly a very exact profile to score a hit. The dawn of the space race ushered in the very first computers, and with it, a degree of consistent accuracy that was previously only achievable by the very best pilots. The CP741 weapon release computer found on the A4 is a solid state analog computer which uses data from several different aircraft systems to take over the complex calculations essential to the accurate delivery of weapons. The entire system is comprised of the AXC666 air data computer, AN-APG-53A radar, the CN-494A displacement gyroscope assembly, the 23141S accelerometer transducer, the Mark 17-0 optical sight, cockpit indicator lights, the CP741 slant A weapon release computer, and the weapon control panel. Boy, that's a mouthful. While the real aircraft had modes for stick deliveries, loft modes, and over-the-shoulder bombing, the only mode we have in the community A4 is toss bombing, which you can think of as a first-generation CCRP. To set it up for use, we'll go through the following checklist. Turn the radar altimeter on, select air to ground mode on the radar, turn the radar AOA compensator off, set the gun sight to zero mils, set up our AWRS panel for our proper release interval and quantity, move the weapon function selector to computer, turn on the appropriate weapon stations, and select master arm on. Typically, we'll want to start our attack from a minimum altitude of 5,000 feet and 300 knots. For this demonstration, we're going to start at 10,000 feet with a pull-up altitude of around 3,000 to demonstrate proper technique. Additionally, we'll be dropping one BDU-33 smoke marker at a time to help measure our accuracy. Once we identify our target, roll in with a minimum of a 10 degree dive angle in order for the radar to get a slant range lock. That being said, it's recommended that a 30 degree angle will yield better accuracy. You'll see the in-range light illuminate when the radar sees the ground. Set the throttle to 88% RPM and place your gun sight over the target. Press and hold the bomb release button, a tone will indicate the system is active, and smoothly pull a nose up to the horizon. The computer will automatically drop the bomb when the release conditions are met and you can begin your escape maneuver. The bombing computer, as great as it is, still requires a high degree of accuracy from the pilot. Any roll or yaw inputs while pulling up will result in an inaccurate drop. Further, the computer does not compensate for wind, so you will need to aim upwind of the target and account for drift. And lastly, it's important to note that the radar gets its lock based on the angle and return strength, so in mountainous terrain, or over water, you might experience inaccurate drops, particularly at shallow dive angles. One technique I like to use is instead of a pull up to the horizon, I continue on my dive angle, letting the gun sight drift past the target as if on a manual dive bombing run, and perform my escape maneuver once the weapon releases. This helps minimize any roll or yaw error I might inadvertently induce. A drawback from this method is your release and recovery altitudes will tend to be lower. 
As with any skill in the A4, perfection takes practice, and I encourage you to hit your favorite bombing range and see what techniques work best for you. If yours differs from mine, leave a comment down below and tell me about it. While you're there, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow me on your favorite social media platform for additional content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.